Hello, I am Seamus Dunahoo, and this video demonstrates the trilateration method for finding Voyager 2 in the game Elite Dangerous. If you've already seen my videos on New Horizons and Voyager 1, then you don't need the full explanation. Uh, the relevant details that are specific to Voyager 2, your directional reference when you jump into Seoul will be Prey Dry Mike Hotel TAC X-Ray Baker 33 TAC 0. I'll put that in the description below. Uh, the distance to Seoul will always be 2,069,476 light seconds. Uh, as of uh, as of today, April the 24th, 2018, the distances between Voyager 2 and Sedna and Persephone are as follows. Sedna, 1736022 light seconds. Persephone, 2365188 light seconds. If you're already familiar with the trilateration method in general, that's it. You're done here. You can stop watching. Uh, if you came across this video first and you don't know what I'm talking about, stick around. I will explain this to you. First of all, uh, to visit any of the ancient probes, including Voyager 2, you will need the Soul System Permit. This requires rank 4, that's Petty Officer, in the Federation Navy or higher. Uh, once you're in Seoul, uh, what I'm going to have you do first is target Neptune. Turn your ship towards Neptune first of all, and super cruise out just a little bit just so that you get clear of the sun. Doesn't have to be very far. Oh, by the way, make sure you fuel scooped. Um, expect to be in super cruise for about an hour or two. It's only going to take you half an hour to supercruise over there, and then a little bit longer after that to actually find Voyager 2. But you might want to spend a little bit of time there taking pictures and such, and you don't want to run out of fuel while you're taking pictures. So yes, keep an eye on your fuel gauge. Um, so yes, supercruise out towards Neptune a little bit. Uh, look for Jupiter. Have Jupiter to your left, Neptune to your right. Then go to your galaxy map and select the following solar system. It is spelled uh, Papa Romeo Alpha Echo Space Delta Romeo Yankee Echo Space Mike Hotel Tac X Ray Space Baker 33 Tac Zero. Select it. Do not plot route and then exit the galaxy map. Because the solar system is so distant, uh, the nav compass seems to break and is useless for trying to find this thing. So you would either have to look around manually or just use Jupiter and Neptune as a reference to find it. Point your ship uh, as close to the center of that distance marker as you can and then go to full throttle. And you will be super cruising for approximately 30 minutes. Uh, basically, you want to get out to 2,069,000 light seconds away from Seoul. While you're super cruising, set your filters to have stars, landfall planets and moons, and points of interest. The ancient probes are points of interest. Uh, which are only visible within 1,000 light seconds. And trying to get within 1,000 light seconds of something that's 2 million light seconds away from the sun is tricky. Uh, from the perspective of the sun, uh, that is going to be a target about roughly 1% of the size of this circular navigation marker. It's a tiny target from here. So this first Super cruise phase is just to put you in the general vicinity of Voyager 2. Once you've crossed 2 million light seconds away from the sun, uh, you're going to want to slowly start reducing your throttle. Uh, keeping in mind, uh, you want to be at about 2069476 light seconds away from the sun. Two 
zero six That's a little too far. Four seven six. All right. So target soul. I'm gonna swing back around. No, oh, that's a little too far. Seven six. Try to get this within fifty foot light seconds. That's five zero light seconds. You know what? I'll, I'll just leave that alone for now. Twenty light seconds is good enough. All right. Now at this point, the standard method for trying to find Voyager two would be to start looking at somebody's screenshot of what the sun looks like from Voyager 2's location and um, trying to match up the position of the sun against the background stars. That is very difficult. Uh, but with the trilateration method, what your next step will be... Uh, let me match the Persephone distance. 2365188. So I'm going to target Persephone. And I'm a little too close. I'm at 2364631 right now. So I need to open up that distance. Now I've targeted Persephone, so that's the body in gray. I've got the sun directly overhead. And I'm turning my ship such that the gray vertical rod for Persephone is behind my ship and the sun is directly overhead. That way, when I start moving forward, my distance to Persephone will increase, but my distance to the sun should remain the same. And actually, you know what? While I'm at it, I'm a little too far away from the sun, just a tiny smidge, so I'm probably going to pitch up just a little bit, so I'm angling a little bit towards the sun. Not much. I almost went too fast. And try to get this within, again, 50 light seconds or so. Uh, I've got it down to within 7 light seconds of error. Good enough. Uh, so let me double check my distance to soul. Zero six nine four zero five. Okay, I'm a little bit too close to Seoul, but I'm only about seventy light seconds off. That's not too bad. Next, I want to finally I want to match my distance to Sedna. One seven three five two seven six is too close. I need to be at one seven three six zero two two. So I'm going to target Sedna, and I'm going to. Hold on, let me do this since it's got to be a 90 degree turn in this my case. I'm going to try and turn my ship uh, such that the vertical rods for the Sun and Persephone are to the left and right of my ship. And, yeah, there we go. So left and right of my ship. Uh, and the bases, hold on, let me line this up first. There we go. Um... There. And the basis of these two vertical rods is on a thin, imaginary, horizontal line going straight through the center of my radar and through my ship. So now, if I start moving forward, 
my distance to Persephone and the sun will not change, but my distance to Sedna will increase, and I need to increase it up to 1736022. So ahead slow, so one eighth throttle. No, that's an unidentified signal source, that's not it. Alright, close enough. Uh, ancient probe. There it is. I almost passed it by. Now, if I still could not see the ancient probe in my navigation panel, what I would then need to do is uh, look at which of my three distances seem to be the most wrong. Then I just line myself up uh, so that I'm keeping the other two distances constant while I'm correcting the third distance. But in this case, I didn't need to take any extra corrective steps and it put me within a thousand light seconds of the ancient probe, close enough uh, that I can just target it. And I can start um, I can start my super braking technique at 2.88 light seconds. See my video on super braking. Two point full throttle. Zero throttle. And drop. <clears throat> Who is this guy? Alright, search and rescue. That's that's a search and rescue NPC. He's not not a pirate, not gonna try to shoot at me. Alright, and there There is Voyager 2. Alright. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm Seamus Dunahoo. Thank you for watching.